Hi there, Chase from Hilo here, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to SaaS mode. SaaS stands for Software as a Service, and it basically means providing someone access to software in exchange for a monthly payment or a subscription. SaaS is a fantastic way to both increase the amount that your clients pay you each month and to open up a new sticky, high margin revenue stream for your agency. Did you know that the industry average churn rate for lead generation services is about 66% monthly? That means that the average lifetime for a lead gen client is between one and three months. But guess what? The average churn rate of SaaS is only about 5%. When a business signs up for software that they find useful, they simply don't turn it off. It basically becomes a utility bill. Look at companies like Podium, Thrive, and BirdEye that each cost hundreds of dollars a month and that are each growing like crazy. Check out these statistics. Podium was named one of the fastest growing companies in North America on Deloitte's 2020 technology Fast 500. And they attribute their 1,148% revenue growth to the mass adoption of their messaging platform by local enterprises and small businesses. And guess what? You can sell the same thing to the market under your own logo with High Level. Because you can white label high level, you've always had the ability to resell the software as your own. But with SaaS mode, we're making it even easier by adding features like automated Twilio rebuild with margin built in, automated pricing and signup page creation, the auto creation of sub accounts with users with pre-configured permission sets, auto lockout upon non-payment with reminders, and even a new agency dashboard that's gonna track your SaaS sales for you. We're so excited for what SaaS mode is going to do for your agency. To get started, just follow the tutorial. To connect your agency dashboard to your Stripe account, simply go to Settings, Stripe Integration, and then click the Connect to your Stripe account button, which will open up Stripe and prompt you to connect. You'll need to be signed into Stripe as an admin of that Stripe account. Once you hit Connect, you'll see the integration pop up. And if you go back to your agency dashboard, you'll see the figures start to populate. We're gonna show you how to set up your SaaS plans with our new SaaS configurator. First, you want to log into your agency account and click the SaaS configurator tab in the left-hand menu. The first option you'll see is the ability to set a free trial for your SaaS. If you'd like to offer your customers a free trial, simply activate the toggle, then slide the slider to the amount of days you'd like in the trial period. Next, you have the option to either use the recommended plans or you can toggle to build your own plans where you can drag and drop the different feature sets between the three plans. These features determine what permissions get enabled for the location that will be generated when someone signs up for the plan. Below the feature sets, you have the ability to include complimentary Twilio credits with each plan. And you'll see that when you enter a dollar amount, it will show the US approximate amount of texts or calls that the amount will translate to so you can use that language on your sales page. Below the complimentary credit section is the snapshot area where you can select the snapshot to be used when a sub account is created from that plan. And below the plan configuration area are the Twilio resale settings. Here, you can determine how much profit you'd like to make on the Twilio charges to your customer. Simply adjust the slider to the amount of markup you'd like and you'll see an approximate of how much you'll make for every $10 spent by your customer. So I've got my three plans here, a hundred, a 300 and a $500. And so what we need to do is we need to create a two-step order form so that people can purchase these plans. So let's check out how we make that happen. I just need to click show Stripe product details. It's gonna show me the two plan IDs that were created when I saved those prices. So I just need to click this to copy that plan ID and then I'm gonna take that over to my funnel. All right, so here's a funnel page I created for pricing. I'm gonna click the products tab. I'm going to add a new product. It's gonna be a subscription. And here in my Stripe plan, um, I can see everything in my Stripe account, but if I paste that ID I copied, boom, it's gonna take me straight to my $100 a month plan. So I'll select that. I'm gonna give it a name of $100 monthly, and I'm gonna take that and copy it into my product description as well and hit save. All right, so I'm going to go do that five more times for my yearly and my other products, and I'll meet you back here in just a second.
All right, I've got all six products added to this step of my funnel. So next is to just click over into the overview. I'm gonna click edit and I'm going to set up my two-step order form. All right, here's my pricing page. I've got my three plans set up. I've got three buttons here. They're all set to open up my pop-up. So let's go ahead and add a two-step in here. So I want a two-step order form. <clears throat> and here I'm just gonna trim this down. So give me a second to like remove this shipping address and change the name of these two steps. All right, done. So now I can just hit save. And my page is ready to go. So let's check it out on the front end. Okay, so here we are. Let's imagine I'm a potential customer and I'm ready to sign up for your SaaS. I'm gonna go ahead and click a start trial button and fill out my details. All right, we'll go to step two. I'm gonna choose my plan. We'll do the $100 monthly. I'll put in my card details and I'm gonna complete the order. Boom, all right, we get our thank you page telling us we're gonna get an email in a second with our login information. So let's hop over to my inbox. All right, there's the email, account created. If I open it up, I can see the agency logo. Uh, welcome, your account has been created and here are my credentials. So let's copy those and go ahead and log in. All right, signing in. All right, here I am, a live user in your new SaaS account. SaaS mode is live.